All right, lady, what is this? This is the new Itsy Bitsy ESP32. I designed this board in 2020. So this is one of those boards that's like, oh, part shortage is over. Let's like try to get back to it. So uh, we just got these assembled and they're double-sided. They've got the USB serial converter on this side. ESP module with eight megabytes of flash, two megabytes of PS1 on the top. Plug it into the tester. And then we're using a Pico using... Um, USB to serial to do the programming. So let's give it a second. And it flashes the file. Uh, you can see on the computer, it's flashing it over USB to serial. So it's doing USB host to the uh, WCH9102 chip uh, to program the ESP32. And then in a few seconds, it's going to finish the test. And then you'll see the test complete. 34, 35, 36. Okay. So now it's going to test all the pins. Oh, and this one is not. Passing. Okay, then it's uh, it's fine. You just have to hold it down 31 seconds later, and then this port is done being tested. And then when you reset it, it does a little nice rainbow glow. So this has passed test, and we'll be able to get it into the store real soon. All right, and then you're making some stuff. Okay, so we've talked about the desk of Lady Ada, this uh, TCRT 1000 optical reflective sensor. That's a right angle. It's right. Maybe if you duck your head down, you can see the two things sticking out the right angle style and then this has potentiometer you can change the uh current going through the uh sensor and then um you know i was thinking because i just did this neo rgb maybe folks want to like you know just make something neo pixel like a single led that doesn't need the high current uh pass transistors so i just made a breakout for this ws 2811f chip it's like basically like a neo pixel on a chip uh you can connect any led, any led you like and i made a little breadboard friendly friend all right so it's top secret for the week. Yeah, it's top secret. Okay. 